Greetings, greetings, and welcome. Welcome to Eswatini Lifestyle. My name is Logan Matole, and I'll be taking you through a journey of what happens in Eswatini in terms of lifestyle, of course. So today we're going to be kicking off with the, a pastry chef who shows us how to bake a nice, beautiful cake because I know a lot of people out there thinking that, you know what, maybe just making a cake just takes about an hour or so or maybe 30 minutes and then we're done. But then we're going to be getting in depth and seeing how a pastry chef comes up with some beautiful, beautiful cakes for you guys to eat. So just not waste any time and let's uh, check it out. Eswatini in your lifestyle and today we are going to be giving you something for those with a sweet tooth and making sure that they understand what goes behind making beautiful, beautiful cupcakes and cakes also. So with me I've got none other than Aisha. How are you doing? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I am I am fantastic. I'm fantastic. Okay, so now a lot of people um, maybe think that baking yeah. You can just wake up and bake. A lot of people have that notion, yes. Yeah, so you don't have it. No, it's not just as easy. You, know, you just don't wake up and start baking and it's done. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so did you wake up and just decide to bake? Or you woke up and you thought to yourself, you know what, maybe I can bake something and then after that I will make a profit out of it. Well, it all started off with my mom. She used to bake. We were all kids. Everyone's mom is baked. And I've always found a fascination to it, like I try and help her and stuff, and I always mess things up and get a shopping for it. So naturally, like from there, I always wanted to learn. And then finally, when I grew up, like in high school and stuff, I'd always see pictures of such great cakes. I started watching Cake Boss on TV every day. <laughs> so I'd like always wanted to get onto that stage. Then. Uh, eventually like my family and then they're like why don't you start selling cakes I mean you are good at it start somewhere so I started in high school just selling to close family friends and stuff like that and um, eventually uh, once I left high school I went to do actually fashion design you'd be very surprised okay. I did fashion designing and completed I came back home uh, my dad didn't want me to work he was typical Indian man, you're not going out to work. <laughs> so um, naturally I gravitated towards baking and he's like if you want you can do something from home. Fashion design didn't really interest me so I started baking. Um, then I expanded, my father helped me a lot, my late father actually, he helped me a lot get through to where I am today. Yeah, he actually got this place for me just to bake as well. Just to bake? Just to bake. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's yeah. a very beautiful story. Yeah. It's a very beautiful story. Okay, moving on. Your baking. Um, how long does it typically take you to bake a cake? I mean, I'm not. I don't even. Uh, I don't even know how I can put um, the sizes because my my numbering is pretty awful. So, um, a cake this big. Okay. okay so maybe let's, uh, let's just say a large cake. A large. Typically, cake. um, how long do you think it would take you? Okay, the largest cake I do is about ten inches, which is about twenty-five centimeters. Okay. That would take on its own to bake, let alone doing the work before baking. That alone takes about an hour and a half in the oven. Okay. Then to cool, it takes about two hours because I have to cut it up. I have to wait for it to cool cut it in half so it can cool fast and if I leave it as is and I cool it, it takes about three to four hours just to cool and that too I put it in the freezer, not even just out on the counter. And then doing the icing, filling, stacking, decorating, good three to four hours again. Mm -hmm. So that in total is about nine hours. Nine hours. Nine hours. Nine hours for one cake. Yep. And then people think you just take one hour to bake a cake and then you're fine. Yeah, they just think it just comes out of the oven and it's ready. Like, hey, it's a pretty cake. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, I I saw that you you also have paint brushes. Yeah. And when I asked you about do. when I asked you about the fact that you also a painter, you said you were. However, now you just do art on cakes. On my cakes, yeah. So does that artistry that you have with painting um other objects? Yeah. Compliment how you paint on a cake? Um, I don't really do, I do brush strokes mostly. 
And um, yeah, no, it's just like I find the most simplest way. I I find the most simplest way to get myself to do the work that I need to get done. Right. Yeah. You're trying to work smart. Yeah, to work smart, All right, not hard. Cool. All right, cool. Okay, so now I see that we've got tools in front of us. Yeah. So for a person to be the baker that you are. Yes. They will need these tools. Um, these are need basic tools. These cups, right? Measuring cups, just to be precise. Measuring spoons. And also the thing you need to take out the spatula. cake. No, this is to do the icing. Oh, so, oh, I, oh yeah. I, this I, is I, to I, do I, the uh, scraping. This is the silicone one. No, 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 don't juice. worry. I, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> and then, and then, since we've got numbers here, I think oh, that, that is to to measure. No, I don't. That you don't okay. It's uh, just there. I don't even know why. Okay, so these things, so these are the basic tools. The basic. Needs to get this yeah, like the dish. So if the, you need to always have your cocoa flour just to get the best light, fluffy textures. Need a good quality dish. I mean, why not? Okay. Um, this is a cake scraper. This is when we're doing the final smoothing of the whole cake, like to get that pretty oh, finish. Okay. All right. Baking is very, very precise. You can't just take a normal teaspoon and throw in and expect things to happen. You need to be very, very precise. So, so that's why you have measuring teaspoons as well. But I've used a teaspoon before and it, it didn't come out that bad. Mm -hmm. It was okay. It was, it was, you could eat it and the people that ate it didn't die. Yeah, I mean, nobody's gonna die, but I mean, like, to get the perfection, I mean, I'm a perfectionist. Okay. So, okay. I need everything to be right. precise to the T. Okay, so yeah. if you put it that way, we'll start using these, these tools. tools. Yeah. yeah. Um, you see it, measuring cups, spatula, and the thingy to do the thingy. Silicone spatula. Mm -hmm. Exactly, <laughs> that one, yeah, to do the thingy, and then this one is to, the, for the final icing. icing. Smoothing out. See how smart yeah. I am. I told you about that. Okay, okay, now lastly, I want to know what does the future hold for you as a brand? Um, well, I haven't really thought that far because I mean, I do want to extend. I, my brothers have been pushing me to do like open up my own bakery, like not do it, like limit myself to the house, but I can say it's So I am like working myself there, but I like my hours. Like, I get to wake up, do whatever I want, whenever, whenever I want, however I want. Yeah. Like, yeah, just push yourself. Push yourself to do better, but don't be like me. <laughs> because again, you're just kind of lazy. Just, just, just a little bit, just a just little, little bit. bit. Not too I mean, much. I can get my work done. Yeah. I get my work done when mm -hmm. I need to get done. I'm yeah. a pusher, I procrastinate, but I get my work done yeah. when it needs to be done. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, I, will, I can only just wish you only the best in your future endeavors. And I hope that um, when you're done with um, making uh, things that you're making right now, yeah. uh, maybe next week you'll, you'll open your shop. Hopefully. Yeah, and then uh, we'll come through again to okay. see how the shop is doing. Okay. I'm sure it's going to be doing fantastic. Thank you. And also, thank you for your time. And I cannot wait to taste what you've got. Yeah, no problem. I'll definitely give you some stuff to taste. Yeah, only I'm tasting it, not the crew. No, no, no. It's for the crew. No, I, no. I have time. No, it, listen, I matter, not the crew. But they're helping you. I can do this by myself. Why don't you do it by yourself? All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> that's all we got for you today. Thank you, Aisha. I really appreciate your Pleasure. time. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>
You know, as I was chilling and sitting down and just thinking about the life and everything, I thought about something that is important to a human being, which is memories. Memories are created in our brains to give us a bit of pleasure in remembering what happened back in the day. So I thought it would be fun because, you know, I love you guys so much. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys our very, very first episode because we've gone through a whole lot as a Sotini lifestyle. So I just want to show you what Lindy was up to when we started a Sotini lifestyle. So do check this out. Welcome, welcome, and welcome again. This is Eswatini Lifestyle, your gateway to everything lifestyle around Eswatini. My name is Dunga Matole, and I am never alone. I am always with the ever so beautiful Lindy Matsenja. How are you doing, girl? Hi, Lungo. Looking cool, bruh. Ah, yeah, you know, Eswatini Lifestyle, we're always straight dripping and swag cool. Also, we're going to be throwing back to December. We're going to show you how the people of Eswatini were celebrating that December. Right at uh, BK Lodge, where there, were, where there was the summer lounging held by Botibza and all the likes. But we're still going to show that to you later on. Welcome back. This is Eswatini Lifestyle. Lunga, remember our cameras started rolling in December where Evan Elements hosted their second edition of summer lounging? Ah. Don't remind me of that December. It was absolutely amazing. We also met quite a number of interesting people right there. It was so yeah. interesting. It was very interesting. Let's have a look. Summer lounging number two. Seven Elements started the summer showdown years ago, marking the end of each year for 11 years. This was a very popular show that roamed around the country's two major cities and attracted quite a huge following. About two years ago, the brothers decided to switch things down a bit and enjoy a bit more grown-up session with the same crowd that has kept up with them over the years. Summer Lounge in number two at BK Lodge, Lana Mbabane. And right about now, I'm with uh, one of the event organizers, Longa. Yeah. Longa, how are you doing, bro? I'm all right, man. How are you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay. Now, tell me more about Summer Lounge in season two. Is it season two or number two? Number or, two second or, or edition. Second, or... second edition, whatever you want to call it. But it's just the second one, yeah. Now, between the first one and the second one, what are you most looking forward to? Maybe are there any changes or whatsoever? Well, we've tried to maintain the same concept in that we just want to have a chilled out groove. Um, the first one was last year uh, at Yoruba Lounge in Manzini. Né? Um, however, this year we just thought it best to take it to um, the High Fells, um, more specifically Langoyoyo. And what's different about it is obviously the venue. Uh, we wanted to celebrate um, this awesome looking place and I'm sure you'll have a better look as you guys rove around. Yeah. Um, it's a beautiful deck with a beautiful pool and obviously beautiful music and beautiful people. So um, in essence it's the same concept but at a different venue. Yeah. Okay, now I remember that um, you guys used to host Isama Showtown in Sambanyati. So, is there any Relation. connection <laughs> yeah, no, between uh, Isama Showdown and this? Look, this is a baby of the Summer Showdown. Um, the Summer Showdown, as you correctly stated, started off in Sambanyati. I think the last one we had was a Hawan. But I think with also our growth as well as individuals and as an entity, we, we saw it best to have something that best suits our immediate needs as well because. I think in as much as it was an awesome event and it has a great legacy, this is probably something more intimate and probably more grown up where we can get to interact with your peers um, on a chilled out setting um, and this is what I think we realized what we needed more. Brothers Steve and Lunga are urban elements and the brains behind the last summer lounging held in December at the beautiful BK Lodge in Goyoyo. Still, it's summer lounging too. So I, I forgot, did it, did it, did it, I think Lunga said it was season two, or act two, wait, wait, or number look, look. two, oh, wait, or the wait, second. Wait, 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 can I just explain? Um, so a, a couple of years ago, we had the summer showdown. We had it, we've had it for the past uh, probably 11 years. Mm. So these are the add-on years. So I think that's where the confusion comes. The reason of uh, probably graduating from the summer showdown to the summer lounging is quite evident. Uh, I'm sure everybody can see what's out there. It's no more about everybody, it's, it's just for the people that love what we do. Good music, a good hangout, nobody's under pressure. I wouldn't love to say there's no calm, 
tonight, but ah, because by the time you can No, stay, stay, Lala, at a given point, but right now we're just doing well. It's just a chill. Everybody's connecting, everybody's back from the diaspora, the US, SA, everybody's here, and that's what we're doing. A change of concept, a change of venue, mood and feel, but most definitely for the better. Summer Lounging 2, as it was dubbed, was a chill session of deep house vibes and meaningful conversations hosted by Urban Elements. Now talk to me about Urban Elements. Who is yeah. Urban Elements or what is Urban Elements or where is Urban Elements, all of that, yeah. Urban Elements is a, it's a creative lab and events company. Um, in the main, what we do is events, um, or if you want to have a strategic um, brand concept that you want to develop, you can engage us on how to best do that. Um, it was founded in 2005, and our main concept is just to bring, the, uh, bring a party to the people, or an event to the people, the, the way that we've always seen it. Well, there are several reasons why we love summer, and one of them is the fashion that we tend to see on the streets. Well, at this chill session, the Summer Lounge in 2018, we got served. Fashion and music too. At the Summer Lounge, everything is summer-oriented, summer-themed, and... Uh, Everything yeah. summer, and Jay, summer, why I was. Well, before, so, before the weather started changing. <laughs> well, it's still summer. It's still, it's still it, it weather. Yeah, Shinja feeling in summer. So, how are you? Please tell us your name. My name is Nati, Nati Mvubu. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, I'll be honest with you. Like, I was just looking, I was like, why are we serving Thai today? <laughs> um, actually, I expected this question. No, man, like, you know, the, the summer lounge, and it's a celebration of style and all good things aspirational and stylish so i thought it comes once a year you know let me show some time okay i'm yeah, showing some time but thank yeah. you what's your in yeah i mean it's, it's all about expression you know you come here to listen to music yet you don't generally hear during the course of the year so i should, should look different appreciate different music so it's just about expression so so okay now it's summer lounging what, what are what are your expectations for the whole show for the whole proceedings like it's been of, for the past 10, 11 years. Um, just oh, so you were a summer yeah. showdown fan? Yeah, 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 oh, okay. from day one, from day one, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. I've never missed a single one. So it's really, really classy, world-class music. Okay. Great DJs, um, beautiful house music from, from start to finish. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> All right then, all right, thank you. We're still out here, summer lounging. We're still gonna meet a few people and then we're gonna show you the place. It's a very beautiful place. And uh, yeah, he's gonna keep on serving Thai for, yeah. for the ones who wants to be served. See you there, black pants all oh, the way. Oh, wow. <laughs> thanks, 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 thanks. We met a few of the same dire heart fans of the summer showdown that have been with Urban Elements since day one. They were very impressed with the growth of this particular show. We are still out here at Summer Lounge in number two, or act two, or the second one. And right about now, I've still I've got somebody who, who has been there since day one. Nabash, you are them at day one more since the <laughs> summer showdown. Because they did explain, we'll see, this is like the baby of the summer showdown. Please tell us your name and last name. Uh, as I think it's successful, it's summer showdown, so I got to say, it's nice to see you see a cooler now. Masanga Bora and Alanga Mova and look at the first summer showdowns. There's been a huge improvement in terms of the setup, in terms of the crowd in Nitonsago, in terms of the vibe they dig. It's it's grown a lot. Now mobile now ukona bong number one, day one. So have you also got some other people that have been there since day one up until now, so back on? You know the next part is my my current summer shutdown. I think my name is Tishar or Skolwe in Konala. I think Tishar. Yeah, I wasn't born by that time. Then I got that one. I so what what happened was we just like a match it every time. Say I come to the banyas, I let my ball. I have exercises during the day. Scares later on. Tell us to have a good time. Youth years after years, years after years, years change. We're still here. And I'm sure we were one of the first people to arrive here. And yeah. much as Zawala, they make shows every time. Summer shut down, we all know, and we always partake with it. Now, you just, you just highlighted on something, Wootsi, Lena M. Sambans used to play and all that. Nyaro Gong Oma says Summer Lounge, do you think we're still going to have some of those activities, not just old point to be about music and chilling and all that? No, look, what I believe, Wootsi, things change. To say youthful, to say active, we play sports to refrain from certain things, then later on we have clean fun. 
Yeah, no, we're all about adulthood, we're all about chilling, lounging, Satan and make business proposal, Satan's music is not going to but Dala, yes, go on a part in certain things, just like Kulumanya on certain levels, start cooling and below the set tone. Now, I'm sure when I used to everything, they've I'm a when they are from summer short down up until summer launching. What is it that you're expecting to happen, Namta, and what do you have in store for us as a whole, Jalan? Namuta, to summarize everything, Zika say class. Class in terms of what? In terms of food, we have VIP, in terms of the music, let up in terms of the quality, I let crowd the tobacco on. Working towards building something bigger in life than just Kunata and having a fun. Whenever slang any, like lounging together, like in this sense, I sat and any school men and sister and Billy, and it's a cool big assembly. Now, I hope, I hope you got a good asata and school, school missa and saka neni and you understand which is not all about just chilling, it's all about having conversation yeah. so that you can propel us into the future and whatsoever. Yeah. So this is still summer lounging, number two. The summer lounging party took place at the beautiful Ardo Patio at BK Lodge, hosting a VIP area and a dance floor for live performances, which were all through the night. The event ticked all the boxes, and like it's been said before, it was a success. Lounging, a celebration of style, a celebration of summer, a celebration of deep house music. <laughs> Levels. More than 10 years and still going. The show has grown beyond leaps and bounds. That show has grown exponentially and I'm actually proud. And Sabugans. And I'm actually proud that I was actually a part of this group because I, I, I have been attending most of their shows. Hmm. But then, it's 2019 now. It's back to reality. It is a new year and we're also coming to you with a fresh new show that is on your screen right now. It's what in lifestyle. Now that you have said that, Lunga, as Bakumbut, we love events too. As me, my mukumbin, no man, I look at show, but you party my lobo long umshad. As long as ne my levels, ne swag, se fichara. But unfortunately, that is all that we have for you this week. So you can catch us next week, same time, same place, with a fresh new episode. And from us, love and light Goodbye. to you all. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the very end of the episode that we very much enjoyed bringing to you and I know it's at home you also enjoyed receiving it and it's always such a good thing when, when always you chill with us and enjoy the show as we gave you a Swatini Lifestyle as pure as it is. So if ever, again and again, you miss an episode of a Swatini Lifestyle, make sure you log on to Eswatini Lifestyle, which you're going to be typing there on YouTube, and make sure that you go through all the episodes that you might have missed. And I'm sure that uh, you would love to catch up on some other episode that you might have missed. And make sure that you do leave a comment there so that we may know that okay, you know what, we can actually try to improve this and also improve that so that you can have the best of you right here on Eswatini TV, making sure that Eswatini Lifestyle is one of the best things that you've ever seen on TV. So, without nothing else, I'll leave you with love and night, and I will let you enjoy the rest of your viewing from Eswatini TV. Good night.